Welcome to the Dead and Kimathi University of Technology Wildlife Conservancy. It covers 40 acres of untouched wilderness. The conservancy was opened in November 2012. It is used for various purposes, including educational purposes, as educational material, conference facilities, accommodation facilities such as cottages, tents, camping facilities, Also, nature trails leading to beautiful sites and beautiful sceneries. There are qualified rangers to guide you through the conservancy. It is a home to countless animal species, including impalas, gazelles, water bugs. Lamas, tortoise, birds. The nature trails takes you to beautiful sceneries, such as the picnic site where you enjoy a relishing view of animals quenching their thirst at the waterhole. Welcome to Dedan Kemadi University uh, Conservancy where we offer practical uh, training on conservancy, conservation and also environmental education. We tend to make the training in a way that uh, we are able to competently train the all levels of education from the kindergarten, primary, uh, colleges, universities, uh, technical institutes, uh, etc. So we are able to train them in a way that is uh, practically uh, they can see what you are talking about, sometimes they can do. And, uh, and then uh, uh, from there we are able also to we're able to equip them with knowledge about the birds. We have different uh, types of the birds, different types of the animals, and the students are able to see. So apart from training our own students, we also uh, train and uh, give quality uh, training about conservation to uh, all local uh, tourists and of course all uh, the students. We have an institute which is known as Institute of Tourism and Hospitality Management which where we offer conservation education, we also offer hospitality. So this facility is able to cater for all those training areas. We have the accommodation within the facility. We have the uh, we, we have other training programs, upskill programs. Uh, we can train on uh, different aspects of uh, of cooking. Uh, we do uh, organized uh, practicals like uh, we can do cakes very well. And uh, with the courses which are structured in a way that um, a student can acquire a specific skill, whether it's pastry making or uh, traditional cuisines, we offer those ones in a way that the student is able to be competently can make uh, those uh, dishes or uh, you know be able to do a guide or uh, be able to prepare an itinerary. Uh, it, uh, the, of course, all aspects or areas of hospitality and tourism. 
I like saying that uh, hospitality is about training students to adapt. So adapting meaning that uh, everywhere you learn or you go or anything else that you want to do, it is possible as long as you are trained in hospitality. Because hospitality trained, trains you, equips you with knowledge, equips you with skills. It also helps you in uh, understanding uh, how you can uh, interact with others, how you can communicate. And therefore, it is an area that helps a student to adapt in any sector uh, in, 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 in the world. And now with the conservancy, with the other practical facilities, and uh, we have a big restaurant which is with the large scale equipment, and uh, that makes sure that a student is nicely uh, trained. And even those new visitors, we make sure that you access those facilities and get to, to learn more about uh, the institute and also about the areas that you are required to learn as far as tourism is concerned and also as far as the hospitality is concerned. So welcome to our uh, Dedan Kemadi University Conservancy where there are so many facilities. We have a uh, bush dinner. Uh, bush dinners are mainly to impart uh, um, the, the, the local tourists, international tourists, and also the students uh, from uh, other, from this university and other training institution with the African culture. So our African cultures, our roots, it's very important uh, to learn about it. If we get to learn where we came from, our identity, we become more confident and we face the world with a lot of confidence. So thank you very much and welcome to Dedan Kemal University. Welcome to Dedan Kemadi University Wildlife Conservation uh, Conservancy. The university is offering uh, has got an institute of hospitality, sustainable tourism and hospitality management, training students and equipping students with skills and knowledge insofar as tourism aspect of life is concerned. And uh, the aspect of tourism is not something to be done theoretically, but it is something that is to be done practically. And that is the reason for the establishment of the facility. The training is tailored on uh, targeting the pupils right from the kindergarten, primary level, secondary schools, and even technical institutes or vocation, uh, we call them Tibet institutions, all the way to university uh, students. That is the main target of the uh, facility. Our conservancy is well equipped with different facilities and we offer different products in so far as the conservation aspect of life is concerned. For instance, we have the conferencing facility, a place whereby uh, people come, do the conferencing, do the meetings, and also deliberate on issues pertaining their programs. Uh, we encourage even uh, other people without the university, they do come, and like for instance, we have had to host nearly county government, and many other institutions that have had to come and uh, uh, have the meetings in that particular conference facility. Besides that, we have the picnicking aspect of life. For instance, where we are right now is a picnic site. And the reason for uh, being choosing this place as a picnic site is due to the fact that we have a very huge tree here, we call it, uh, it is called in Kikuyu community, Mukore, and Mukore has got some uh, cultural aspect of it, in that uh, it is, there is a myth uh, among the Kikuyu community that the, 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 the Kikuyu, the, the man that is the, Kiku, the Kikuyu, the founder of the Kikuyu community, and the Mumbi the wife, it is believed that according to the community that it's a myth that they originated from this uh, tree. And once they came out of this tree, the way they came out, we don't know, we, don't, we are not able to explain, but it's just a myth. So they tend to think that they came out of this place, 
Then thereafter, they came up with their nine daughters. And the aspect of life here is, we don't do game driving as it is happens in the national parks, but we have what we call nature walks. Somebody may be able to walk around the conservancy, be able to identify and look for many animals, species of animals that we have around. Maybe he's tired, he may be having some snacks, some food to eat. Then he will be able to settle here and be able to have the meal comfortably and thereafter continue with the, with the journey as, as he intends to do. Uh, we also have the, the bush dinners. We've introduced the bush dinners purposely uh, to equip students on service skills and also on the aspect of practical life of service skills and also to encourage the aspect of uh, cult uh, African culture. Jina anaitwa Saidi Rashid Renja wale bidantumadi University of Technology wale Conservancy Karibuni sana Conservancy yetu Iko na wanyama wa msitu Haina tofauti Na kadiria haina Haina kama kumi hivu za wanyama wa msitu Pamoja na ndege Haina tofauti kama mia tatu na aina tofauti ya miti ya kiasi. Ndani ya hifadhi yetu ya Eden Kimadi University Conservancy tuko na aina nyingi ya shughuli yani activities yenye tunazifanya huku kuvutia watalii watalii wa kinyumbani na watalii wa nje. Uh, sana sana tukiangalia kwa nchi yetu ya Kenya kitu kinavutia sana ni mbuga za wanyama Ifadhi yetu ya Dedan Kimadi University Conservancy tunajaribu uh, kueta, kuleta watu wote pamoja watu wanye waezi tembea ifadhi hizo sababu ya gharama so wakitembea hapa tuna, tunaleta kwa mazingira eh tunaweza kuonyesha hizo mbuga zinakaa namna gani kuna activities tunazita tena round activities hizi activities ni zile tunajaribu uh, uh, kuleta mazingira kuleta activities zingine kama uh, bush dinners uh, kuna uh, kuna camping hizo activity ni kuwa zinawekwa ndani ya mazingira ya msitu na wanyama bila kuinterfere na mazingira hayo Hapa mahali tuko we have a, a trap, we call it an animal trap and this trap mostly natumika kunasa wanyama wakali kama vile simba, chui na wengineo. Na mara nyingi tumekua na chui hapa na likuwa ki lete madhara kwa wanyama wetu ka wadogo kama vile aina nyingi za suara ambao tuko nao na tukaona kwamba anaweza lete madhara zaidi ya hapo na tukaamua kutengeneza uh, this trap so that we may be able to capture na tukapeleka haya mahali yeah my name is professor Waweru model conservation biologist we did an electric, an electric fence covering the whole area of the conservancy which is approximately about 4 square kilometers and uh, about 4 kilometers around we brought in about 65 animal species translocated from various parts of the country and some of them established themselves. We have Impara right now, we have waterbuck, we have zebra, we have warthog, we have bushbuck and uh, we have the Sunnis. The university management, uh, we have come up with a strategy whereby Kenya Water Service has already approved several animal species to be brought. Starting with the four giraffes, this habitat is very ideal for giraffes. We are going to increase the number of uh, impara, waterbuck, zebras, and uh, warthogs. This will make the number more dynamic, and we expect the number to start growing. 
This conservancy is used as a laboratory for training the students from ITOM. Instead of taking them to the national parks, we use this place as a training ground or as a field station for the students who are taking tourism and hospitality management. For the hospitality component, we have a few borders. Maybe when you have an opportunity, you might see two borders which are complete. Plus, now what is next to us is a conference facility. We have also brought in uh, the Rama, Rama Grammar. This is a domestic animal in uh, South America, which was brought to Kenya by William Holden in Nanyuki for the purpose of trans transporting. As a, it's called a pack animal. For the purpose of transporting to guide, to transporting people and luggage to the top of Mount Kenya when they are climbing. After diversifying the number of species, we expect to get more people coming here for recreation purposes. It's a quiet place. People can come for recreation and they are weekend outs. Church groups, school groups can come here for, for relaxation, to see animals, walk around and team building. As the sun sets over the horizon, we leave behind a conservancy that is not just a place of extraordinary beauty, but a testament to the power of collective action. It is a reminder that when institutions, communities, and conservationists unite, the wonders of nature can be preserved for generations to come. Join us next time for another expedition into the heart of conservation we continue to unveil the beauty and challenges faced by those dedicated to preserving our planet's precious resources.